Uh, people at the DMV are fucking retarded. Uh, they double charged me for no damn reason. And they started being more retarded, and they gave me a false number to call. I called that number, and then that person on the number said, this is the wrong number, you need to call a different number to get a refund. So then they gave me that new number. I called that number, and they still said they couldn't give me my money back. There's no refunds. Even though these fucktards over here said that I could get my money back if I called that number. The people here are so stupid. They're giving me so many different stories. At first they said, oh, go use the kiosk. Okay, so I do that. It doesn't work, but it charges me $3 anyway. So then I go back there and say, hey, it didn't work, but it just stole my money. So they said, okay, we'll go wait in line for literally a straight hour to go talk to someone else and tell them that you already paid. So that's what I did. I stayed in line over here for an hour. And then I finally talked to an actual person to get my records. And then they charged me again, even though the other person said they wouldn't. I was like, are you fucking serious? I don't care if it's $3 or $300. People are lying, and they don't know what the hell they're talking about, and you're jacking my money. So then they, that's when they gave me this stupid number to call, and they said they couldn't help me either. And then they directed me back to, to the stupid DMV and said to talk to, like, a supervisor or something. And then, I'm, and then I was just like, you know what? This, isn't a, this is a waste of time. I'm not going to stress out over $3. But it's just ridiculous how they think they can just fucking steal my money like that. It's bullshit. But you know, you want to know something good that happened though? I found a dollar on the floor. It was literally right there. I walked outside and there was a dollar on the floor right next to my bike. So I guess I have a guardian angel looking out for me, you know, giving a little pity on me saying, Oh, you know, people are fucking with you. I'm going to make it a little less harsh on you. Here's a dollar. So, I found a dollar on the floor. I've never found a dollar bill on the floor before. The last time I found a bill on the floor, it was in Kansas like seven years ago, and it was a $20 bill. And then Nathan ended up spanking my ass as usual, and he felt the $20 bill in my pocket, and then we ended up going to McDonald's and spending the $20 because he said he was hungry, and, and he's like saying, well, let's plan a trip to road to McDonald's again, folks. But that was before the celiac disease. Now I'm talking about a million other things. Damn it. You know, it's not the money that I care about. It's the inconvenience, it's the dishonesty, it's the lack of knowledge. I'm sick and tired of people lying to me, stealing my money, and give, giving me misleading information. Bullshit, you know, I just wish people could either, you know, be more honest or be less retarded, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the problem that we have in society. The majority of people are not happy with their jobs. They're not there to do their job. They're there to get paid. So, of course, they're going to put in the bare minimum of effort most of the time, they're not going to know what the hell they're doing because they're not there to make a difference. They're not there to help. They're just there for a fucking paycheck. And that's what pisses me off. It's like, if you're not happy doing your job, then don't fucking do it. Go f continue to look for other jobs and keep going. Keep going from job to job until you find something that you actually like to do. That's why I've been doing security for so long. I've been doing it for like three years now. And it doesn't, it, I mean, it doesn't really pay that much, but... It keeps a roof over my head. It buys food. It pays for shit. You know, I've been able to have an apartment doing security. I've gotten a house working security. Believe it or not, I got my house all just from working sec security. And I enjoy security because it's stable. There's always a bunch of hours. It's easy to get into. The only thing I don't like about it is that, again, all the people that work security, the people that work the office, the supervisors, everyone, they're all fucking stupid and stubborn, and sometimes even assholes. Like, I've dealt with a lot of really grumpy people that just, you know, I would ask them a simple question and they would just treat me like a burden, like they'd have the shittiest attitude ever. I literally quit a security company just for that reason because I got sick and tired of every single time I would call the office just to have a simple question, like, hey, is there a shift I can pick up? Hey, this or that, just a, just a general question like that. They would, he would give me the shittiest attitude of any human being I've ever gotten in my life. I've never had someone act like such a dickhead you know and 
I don't get along with those kind of people. So I literally quit that security company just so I wouldn't have to talk to that stupid fucker anymore. But yeah, at the end of the day, honestly, do a job that you enjoy. Don't just do it for the paycheck. Do it because you like it, because you want to make a difference, because you want to help people, because you want to contribute to society, because that's what I do. If I didn't like security, I wouldn't do it. I've probably done over 30 different types of jobs throughout my life. Security is the first one that I've stuck with because it's the only one that doesn't drive me insane. I enjoy doing it. And that being said, I do a damn good job at it. I'm the most helpful person in the world at my job. So still, like, I don't, it doesn't matter what job you're doing. If you're not happy with it, don't be afraid of getting kicked out of your apartment because you can't pay the bills. Who gives a shit? Go look for another job. Make a difference in the world. Don't be like these fucking pieces of shit. Don't be like these assholes. End of the vlog. Stay tuned for more videos. See you, folks.